Borada, welcome to the Instant channel. I am again playing Professor Leeson and the Curious Village. So, we are going to continue. We were at the Reinhold Manor in the last episode. So, let me show what we were doing, because it's been a long time since we recorded, but, uh, not too long, but, uh, now our story so far. Professor and Luke make their way successfully to the Reinhold Manor, where they met Lee Dahlia. But before they can start talking, a loud noise starts from Lady Dahlia's cat, Claudia, who runs off. Professor Luke are now forced to find the missing feeling. Again, sorry for the sound wishes I'm using an emulator. Right, <coughs> let's go and find Claudia. Oh, it's you, Mr... Please, call me Ramon. Oh, hoo -hoo. Can I be of some assistance? As a matter of fact, Ramon, yes, leave Dallas cat's it out of the house. Have you seen her about? Do you mean, dear Claudia? I think I saw her pass through here and run into the village a few moments ago. If that's the case, I sure wish he'd bothered to catch her before she ran away. Now, stupid Ramon, isn't he? I don't know how to actually fix this sound. Uh, I'm trying to find ways to fix the sound, but I can't find a way to do it. Oh well. Let's see if this guy's found him. You need something? You do, don't you? Yep, I could see it on your face, an open book is what you are. <laughs> Excuse me, but I d you didn't happen to see Lady Dallas cat not through here a moment ago, did you? Ah, the fluffy white killer, yeah. I think she ran towards the village, square. Yep, she went that way. I see, thank you. Think nothing of it, if only all questions were that easy to answer. Well then, I'll be off now. Who'd have thought he'd turn out to be such a nice chap? Shall we head for the village square then? Indeed, let's be off. Hold on, let's take a look at what's behind the blue door. Do you see it? The blue door over there appears to be a jar. Care to take a look inside? Okay, my boy, the ex this extinguished candle has reminded me of a simply wonderful puzzle. Okay. How many are left? Ten candles stand burning in a dining room. A strong breeze blows in through an open window and extinguishes two of them. Checking back, checking back in on the candles later, you see if one more candle has gone out. To make sure no more flames go out, you shut the window. Assuming the wind doesn't extinguish any more candles. How many candles do you have left in the end? This is actually just a trick question. Okay? This is all a trick question and I do know what the answer is. I haven't actually done this one, but I know what the answer is. So, it's just trying to confuse you. Ten candles stand burning in a dining room. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Uh, a strong breeze and extinguishes two of them, so that one, say, just extinguishes, and that one extinguishes. Checking back in on the candles later, you see that one more candle has gone out, so we'll say that this one goes out. Okay? So it'll make you think that there. So, assuming the window doesn't extinguish any more candles, how many candles do you have left in the end? Now, I think this is a trick question. The reason why is because it tells you that three of them have been extinguished. But they're still there. I'm going to take it that it's ten. How does this sound? I've let you down, Professor. <laughs> it seems that was incorrect. Think out the problem one more time. The puzzle asks you to work out how many candles you have left in the end, but what does this actually mean? That's what I did. I did. I put 10 in, didn't I? 
Ten candles stand burning in a dining room. A strong breeze blows into an open window and extinguishes two of them. Checking back in on the candles makes you see that one more candle has gone out. Would it be seven? I thought it would be a trick question. Ten. Maybe it's nine because it has a one candle going out. Yes. No. Uh, seven problems. I've let you down, Professor. We'll try seven. Well, here's my guess. No, it's not seven either. No. Hey, there, oh, sure Teddy. Correct. Because it says it's ten. It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's ten. Well, here's my guess. I'm so embarrassed. Hmm. This is a lot more tricky than I thought. How about zero? How does this sound? Nope. I'm so embarrassed. Hmm. I'm confused about this one actually. This has confused me a little bit. So look at it. It may seem straightforward, but it wouldn't be a puzzle if there wasn't a trick to it. Read the problem over again. The problem wants you to know how many candles you have left in the end. The wind blows out two candles, and then shortly after blows out one more. So how many candles are extinguished? The candles that aren't extinguished by the wind continue to burn. What will happen to these candles if they are allowed to keep burning? Are you kidding me? It's three. It's three. This puzzle confused me. Congratulations, puzzle confused me. How does this sound? Of course it is three, isn't it? The, but the candles are going to burn. They're going to burn out. They're going to melt, aren't they? That's correct. The seven candles that manage to stay lit will melt down completely. The only candles that remain in the end are the three that are extinguished by the wind and therefore stay intact. <sighs> that puzzle confused me. <laughs> Thinking too much on that one. Excellent work, my boy. Sometimes it's important to consider the obvious too. Delving too deep into the implied can and cause misconception. Yeah, that that one was supposed to confuse me at all, but it did. That one, because I think I know. Hey, you two, help me out here, would you? I'm in a real pickle. What seems to be the problem, sir? Some fool went and raised the bridge while I was on my break. Huh. That is if that wasn't bad enough. They, that scoundrel made off with my only bridge crank. Huh. Oh dear, so you mean to say... Huh. That's right, until that thing turns up, no one's getting in or out of the village. I'm still looking for the blasted crunk, but I'm too furious to get anything done. Hmm. What kind of person would do something like this anyway? Oh yeah. I found this in the street when I was out looking for my crunk. Got any idea what it is? I got a strange gizmo, that's nice. The gizmo's option has been added to the menu. 
touch the trunk to open it and then tap this button. From here you can see the various mechanical parts we've gathered around the village. The vanishing crank was added to the list of the street. I believe the mysteries... Yeah, it's like, that's the mysteries. Someone has stolen the crank that controls St. Mysteries... St. Mysteries... Uh, drawbridge. The stolen portal in and out of the village. Until the crank is recovered, there is no way to leave the village. Why would somebody want to steal drawbridge crank? I don't know, maybe they... Need a crunk for something. Other. The kids that you've gathered around St. Mystery are all lined up on the subscription. One to snap it. Tap one to snap it into place. Just what you are. Uh, just what are you constructing, you ask? That's a secret. Okay, I don't know what to do, but I'll come back. Cat. Aha! Fluffy purple bow, southern expression. No doubt about it, that's cool. <laughs> well spotted, Luke. Now we've located her. The question at hand is how to go about catching her. Leave this one to me, Professor. Ah, yes, I'd forgotten that you have a way with animals. Well, go right ahead then. Here, yeah, Claudia. Here, girl. <laughs> I Luke, are you alright? I'm sorry, I wasn't much help. Professor, she's much fe feistier than I imagined. There's a lot of you guys here. <sighs> huh? Oh yeah, I saw that cat. She almost scratched your eye out. Help catch her, you say? Thanks, but no thanks. I like living. Did you see that ferocious beast? I was going anywhere near her. <laughs> Could you at least tell us in which direction she ran off? I saw that killer scurry off westward. She had fangs the size of daggers. <laughs> I'd west, let's go west. Oh, I almost forgot. We ought to visit a local inn and see if we can pro procure some rooms for the night. Sounds good to me, Professor. I was certain I saw an inn near the entrance to the village, just south of the square we're in. Let's head over right now and see if we can arrange some lodging. Oh, where is it? Oh, where's it? Professor, have you noticed that this door is a different colour than all the others in the area? Look at these vines! Have you seen vines growing on any other house in St. Mystery? This nameplate on the door says House of Puzzles. Indeed. I'm not quite sure what else hides behind the door, but it's clear there are puzzles hiding inside. Sadly, the door is shut tight and there's no sense in waiting around for it to open. Let's just say later. Okay, so where is this inn? Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, where is the inn? There. No, this isn't really tall. Let's go back to there, Leaf. Where is the inn? Oh, I've come the way. So this? No, that's a village shop. Where's the inn? I'm still looking for the blasted crank, but I'm too furious to get anything done. Hmm. What kind of person would do this anyway? Oh god, where is the egg? <laughs> oh right, there's one more place over here. There we go. Stupid me. I thought the other back was the drawbridge. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Welcome to the Inn of St. Mystery. We're the only inn in the village, you know. You see, visitors of two-hour little village are quite rare. 
Ah, good day, madam. Madam, you seek lodging for the night. Do you have any vacant rooms you could rent? Oh my stars, what terrible timing. We're currently remodeling all our guest rooms. No room's left in the attic, but if you don't mind that, I'm sure you're very comfortable. I do hope you'll stay with us. It's been a while since the five dead of us have been yourself stay with us. <laughs> the rooms are uh, not very big, but I'll, I'll make sure that they sparkle. Can you come back in a bit? I'll do my best to get two normal rooms ready for you as soon as possible. Oh, thank you, but you needn't trouble yourself on my behalf. As long as I have a bed to sleep, I'm unsatisfied. Ah, yes, about that. Oh, I've got terrible luck. You see, all the beds are out being refinished. Don't worry, but Mama Beatrice will take good care of you too. I'll even drop the night you rate. Your inn option has been added to the truck. The inn is a puzzle in which you arrange items and looks and puts in a room. Tracks it into the trunk icon and touch the inn. If you turn a new item for Luke and the professor will be asked where you want to put it, you can always rearrange your items, but don't worry too much about where you first put the item. If one of your rooms is too full to add new items, the item will go to the room with available space. Yes, something to make a place feel a bit more like home. <laughs> Lockered stool. Right, let's go. We've stopped by the end. I better get back to searching for Claudia, Professor. <laughs> right, let's see if this guy sees anything. Hehehe, <laughs> so how goes it? Learning the, the ins and outs of St. Mystery, are you? Yep, stolen puzzles is the only way to get by here, that's what the village is bloody most. So how about a puzzle right now? <laughs> a little practice will keep you from embarrassing yourself in front of others later. As a diehard non-conformist myself, I love any puzzle where you need to find the odd one out. Right, after this puzzle, I'm going to end this. So we're up to 17 minutes. Five card shuffle. Three of the four images shown below are the exact same picture rotated in a variety of ways. Can you find the odd one out? This is going to be difficult, isn't it? <laughs> I could do some guesswork, but uh, I would at first guess A. However, there's no way to distinguish it. I'm gonna go with my first instinct. Well, here's my guess. Nah, it's not me. I've let you down, Professor. Look at the problem again. I've looked at the problem. Jesus Christ. Five card shuffle. Right. Can you find the old one out? Uh, my second instinct would be C. <laughs> but I How guess this, this is wrong sound? as well. Nah, it's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. I'm so embarrassed. Now, my third instinct would be D, and if this is wrong, then we've already limited the map. Yeah, it's. Layton's apprentice saves the day. I suppose with this we could just do guesswork. So. Like Good job, this puzzle is fairly straightforward, but catching a subtle difference to me and Pinky can take a while. Right, so I am going to end this episode here. Wait, 
You certainly showed that puzzle who was bossed into. Save the tra training I've been giving you has paid off. Feel free to thank me in any way you see fit. Well, be seeing around. You gotta pay to pick up. I'm gonna save this here. And I'm gonna end this episode here. So, thank you so much for watching this episode of Professor Layton and the Curious Village. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me a lot, and you'll get more videos like this. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Until then, goodbye.